Dealing with chains, I'm wide awake Take me away now trailer is all set up and ready to go um, yeah give you a quick little tour if you like so this is all my prints here um, all local places so you've got Ilfcombe that's Butts Mills lovely little village very quiet picturesque that's obviously not here that's Port Isaac it's down in Cornwall that's uh, where series called Doc Martin was filmed for many years. That is Weymouth. A lot of my originals are for sale down in Weymouth. Um, we've got Beach Huts, which is a path just around the corner over there. It's like the promenade along by the sea. Seafield house, as it used to look. That's how it looks now. Um, Westwood Hoe Beach. This is a village nearby, Appledore. Ah, these are my puffins. We have puffins on an island nearby to us called Lundy, which I will show you in a moment. This one's about half an hour, half an hour's drive away from the canal. Cavelli, there's a little village just around the corner of the coast. 15 20 minutes drive. Insto, it's the local beach. Biddeford's the local town. And Heartland Quay, 
back in the day at the Smugglers, one of my favourite places. And then here's some of my pictures all framed up. Uh, same prints, but in frames. Here's me. Uh, and then I've got some coasters. I also paint animals, as you know. And I print them onto coasters. And do them as prints. I also do little key rings. That's one of Westwood Oak Beach. I don't know if you can see it in its wrapper. There's all the location coasters, the prints I've just showed you. And then more of my animals, all on coasters. Puffins. Give them a bit of a dust off actually. This one's been quite popular this year. This one's quite popular. And the seal. I also print onto mugs. Um, so that's those. And there's some more prints all framed up. There's the cock oh. There's one of a surfer there. One of an otter over there. The trail is brilliant, but the space is quite limited, so... Yeah. And that's a little tour of everything on the tray I've got placemats for the table I also print those so all the locations and some of the animals but yeah they do quite well all printed at home by moi match the coasters perfectly Quite a nice little set. Or mix and match. Yeah, cool. So let's show you this house. This house where I am based. Let's show you the house. There it is, Seafield House. Seafield House seems to be an event occurring there soon. Let's have a look. Haunted Dive. I've got to say, today is so beautiful. It is the perfect temperature, not too hot. The sun is really warm and it's just so nice. It's really, I think pleasant is the word I would use. So nice. What is the date today? 12th, 13th September, something like that. Really, really nice. Anyway, the house, I was going to tell you a bit about the house, but believe it or not, every time I pick my phone up, people arrive. Why didn't this happen all summer? I should have been filming all summer. Anyway, all good, not complaining. So the house behind me, Seafield House, um, yeah, built about 1880 by a banker from London. More people, one moment, please. Yeah. A banker from London had the house built in about 1880 um, and his family lived there through the generations. I think when it was built, um, car coming, hang on. When it was built, I think there was only a pier house. Well, I don't know what it was called then, but that's quite a nice building. Um, and all the rest was, was fields and, and the cliffs and the grass. And, so yeah, it would have been quite remote um, out here, right on the edge of the cliffs. Lovely, very, very nice in my opinion. Um, anyway, so it 
passed down through the generations. I think at some point it was run as a hotel. I mean, don't quote me on all of this. This is just a bit of research I've done since I've been here because I've been asked so many times if I know anything about the house. I might have some of my facts wrong, um, but hey ho. I think at some point during World War II, officers, soldiers took over the house. Apparently they had it all painted gray. Um, which the owners had to put right when they got given the house back. I have heard stories of prisoners in there, don't know if that's true. Um, like prisoners of war kept there. Um, but that's just members of the public going by. I've heard so many different stories. People think it's they're adamant it's going to fall over the edge, so therefore nothing will be done with it. That is not the case. Um, anyway. Auctioned in about 1950, and then a family bought it and ran it as a B&B. There was an elderly couple in there last, and I'm not sure if that was the children of the family that bought it in the 1950s, or whether it was sold yet again. I think it. I think. I think it's the children grew up. Anyway, so the brother and sister lived in there. Apparently, they didn't have the best of relationships. Unbelievable the amount of people that are walking past. I mean, it's lovely, but on oh my word so hard to make a video. Yeah. Where did I get to in my story? Um, yes, so it was just the sister living there um, until she had to, I think, she had to go into a sort of form of nursing care or something um, about six-ish years ago and then the house was put up for auction once more and a local businessman bought it and um, is going to be doing it up so it's not going to fall over the edge or crumble or anything like that it is going to be um well saved i suppose because at some point the elements will get it it does actually sit on solid rock so it was never going over the cliff anytime soon but it is um exposed to the weather we do get quite quite a, a bit of weather here it takes a bit of a battering um, so it wouldn't have it wouldn't have lasted forever, but now it will. Um, it'll be done up, and um, it'll be really exciting to see see how it looks when, when it's all finished. Hopefully, very much like it does now, but perhaps with a few little additions. Who knows? So yeah, that's the story of the house. Um, I will show you the garden and all in a minute because when I was a kid. The house all, has always looked in some form of derelict. It's never, it's never looked um, pristine in my lifetime. Um, and as a child, I would look over the wall into the garden, which actually was kept immaculate. Really lovely lawns, really lovely. Which you know, it was surprising really because of the way the house looked, but I assume the money wasn't there to be spent, whereas you can you can cut the grass, you can look after the lawn. I'll show you it in a minute. It doesn't look like that now, unfortunately, and um, it's not as big as I remember it was. Um, but yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. When I was younger, I used to think of it as many people still do now, as the haunted house. Absolutely no proof of that whatsoever. Um, never seen anything. It just looks, looks like a haunted house. It's uh, an intriguing house. That does not make it haunted. But nevertheless, that's what I've always called it and that's what a lot of the locals call it. Haunted house, spooky house. Um, so yeah, it doesn't help that there's a... Uh... Well, I'll show you, hang on. Even got like the old curtains from God knows when. Apparently, the lady used to sit in that window, drinking her coffee and waving at people as they used to go by. And there's the stained glass window, which you can't see so much today because of the way the reflections and the light is. That's the old porch way. It used to have a lot of glass on it once upon a time. Another stained glass window. I think there's bathrooms behind that that window there. But yeah, I'll uh, 
I'll show you the gardens quickly if that interests you. Nothing like I remember when I was a kid. Can't actually see Lundy Island today. I was going to show you that about where the puffins are, but you can't see it today. It's actually the angle I used when I did my picture. From the back. Very, very nice. Just go back for just a moment, if it was possible, to just go back in time to see this house when it was built. Wouldn't that be something cool? That would be very cool indeed. No, I'd go back to, well, I'd like to see this house in its heyday. I mean, you know, Think about how they build things today. They didn't have any of that equipment back then. It is quite incredible. I think I would like to go back to, I don't know, Henry VIII's reign. Wasn't a very pleasant one, obviously, but smell, look at the smell. Oh, well, the smells weren't have been very nice, but just to smell how it was, just to see, just to have that moment in history. Just for a brief second. Victorian times. I'd like to go back to the Victorian times. What would they all make of the world we live in today? All these electric cars driving around. The way things are. It would blow their mind, that's for sure. A little tour of the infamous Seafield House where I have been based through the summer. Um, yeah, I don't know how much longer I will be here now because obviously the holiday season is over. The weather at the moment is just fantastic and we've got this all week. So yeah, I'll be down here this week. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just have to see how the weather goes and what the situation is for as long as possible. October, up to October half term would be great. Um, but we will just have to wait and see. So yeah, I hope you liked that little tour. Um, I am now going to go and sit on the chair. Oh, I've got an itch. <laughs> go and, um, I don't know, clean off the dust, the, clean off the dusters. Clean the, give the coasters a little wipe down. It gets quite dusty up here with the cars going in and out. Um, I shall, I've got a few forms I need to fill in. So I'm going to go and sit on the trailer and do that. And um, just enjoy this really beautiful mm. day. I see you in the next video, hopefully. Take care till then. Cheers.